uh, get us to 100K. Without further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, and occupation. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Kiko. I'm 23. Uh, I go to UCSB, and I also bartend. I'm Ali, better known for Al Weezy. I'm 23 years old from Arizona, and I'm your certified bad. Your huh? The certified baddie. Talking to the mic. Yeah, talking to the mic, just so they can uh, hear you. Say, um, your, say your occupation one more time for just, us. Just so they can. Yeah. My occupation is a certified bad. What was, your much, age, what was your age again? Very much baddie vibes. I'm 23 years old. 20, okay, and Kiko, 23, right? Yeah. Okay, 23, 23. And certified bad, bad? Or boss, ba- I, Very much baddie vibes. Baddie, like, what? full-time baddie, <laughs> no breaks. <laughs> What, it's so very much full time. What does that What does that mean? <laughs> Can you explain that? It's just a lifestyle. Like it's. I mean, if you get it, you get it. The rules are there. I mean, I feel like every girl can, every woman can be a certified baddie. It's just the mindset, and it's a full time job. But if you had, if, if there was a def, if there was a dictionary, and you were hired by Webster's to define mm. certified bad bitch, is that what it is? Yes. How? What, what would be the dictionary definition of a certified bad? Bitch? I would have to say. I mean, if just like toning it down completely, just a woman who's confident in herself, does whatever she wants for herself, nobody else, just woman, whatever, men, whatever, anybody can be a certified bad bitch. Is that the, it's just, I think it's just the level of confidence and it's the mindset for sure. Is that the uh, occupation you list on your taxes? Oh, for (laughs) sure. Nice. (laughs) Nice. Very much that. Very much the vibes. Okay, good times. What about you? My name's also Allie. I'm 19, <laughs> and I'm a student at Santa Barbara City College. All, are you also a certified bad Um, I try to be, yeah. <laughs> My name's Madison. I'm 18. I'm a student at SBCC, and I'm studying econ and accounting. I'm Billy Ray. I'm 25, and I make men's dating advice content. My name is Deborah. I'm 23, and I make conservative content. My name is Samuel. I'm a biochemist full-time, but I'm also full-time jiu-jitsu artist. Catch me live on UFC Fight Pass this Saturday, competing to win gold. How old are you, Sam? Oh, I'm 27. My name's Chase, 28 years old, professional photographer and brand consultant. What up, fam? Good to see you guys here. Okay, rock and roll. Everyone's Instagrams are in the description. So we're going to go around the table once more. What is your current relationship status? Are you single? Do you got friends with benefits? Are you in the talking stage, situationship, relationship? And also, in addition to that, your longest relationship. Go ahead. Um, Yeah, I'm in a very committed relationship with my boyfriend right now. And my longest relationship was like two and a half years. I'm very much as single as they come. Mm -hmm. And my longest uh, I guess no real relationship yet, but my longest talking phases have to be almost a year, I'd have to say. Longest talking phase? Yeah. Have, you, have you ever had a boyfriend? Um, no. I'd like, officially, no. Okay, but you have had like a Long-term. concurrent period of time, like a, you said a one-year period of time where you did yeah, have... very much like a year-long talking stage. With year-long boyfriend. talking stage. Yeah. What, what is talking stage? So what, what is that? If anyone else wants to chime in, what is a talking stage? Hell. it's like a question of loyalty honestly like you're just wondering at that point if you're in the talking stage yeah what did did that mean for you they they couldn't have explained it any better it's literally hell like it tests your loyalty absolutely um wait it it what like tests the loyalty for you no like in general like for both parties did did you want commitment but he wasn't willing to give it uh basically basically was what it was um yeah they okay. couldn't have said any better. Okay. I feel like the talking stage is like when you add something to your cart on a website and there's like only one left, but it's reserved because it's in your cart, but you don't actually buy it. It's a pretty That's good kind metaphor. That's kind of what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm currently in a relationship. Um, this is also my first relationship. How long have you been in uh, seeing this guy? Um, I've been, we just started dating on the 5th actually, so it's pretty fresh, but... Um, I've been talking to him for about six months, or I've known him for about six months. Were you guys so. friends for the first five months? Um, kind of. Kind of. Or was it the talking it stage for the f- talk- five months? It was months? a talk- <laughs> Yeah, it, I would say it was a talking stage, yeah. For five months, and now you guys have been dating for one month? Yes. Um, who brought the topic to 
wanting it to become something more serious? Was it you? Was it him? Was it kind of mutual? Um, I think it was kind of mutual. Um, Straight into the mic? It was more of if, I would say, the timing, sort of. Um, timing? But I think it was just a mutual thing. What do you mean timing? I don't think he originally wanted to start dating necessarily in um, college. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't see it in his future, but we just both kind of started liking each other, so it got. I don't know. Quite so up. sure. Um, question: During the five month talking stage, were you like dating other guys too? No. Just him. Okay. Was he seeing other girls? Mm, no. You sure about that? You kind of smiled <laughs> a little bit when. Uh, no. You're not sure about that. Here, talk. Try to be straight into the mic if you can. Um, possibly in the beginning, mm. but not towards the end. Or. Okay. Isn't that kind of what the talking stage is? It's like you meet someone and you guys are still dating, and like you both know that you're seeing other people, but no one's willing to commit yet right and like that mm. lasts for as long until that person either finds someone that they really like while they're dating other people or they kind of just fall back on whoever they're talking to at that time it's like the That's modern exactly. version of dating like how we're supposed to go on dates and get to know somebody but no one's going on really dates anymore they just start hooking up so just imagine how adults would say like oh we started dating going on dates and and you guys are okay with that I'm not. You're not? Allie, um, are you okay? or were you okay with that in the beginning, or was it a struggle? In the beginning, it was okay, but we were, or we both talked to each other about it, and we were, like, exclusive with each other for a couple months, so, before we started dating. How soon did you know that you wanted to, like, date him exclusively? Um, I would say probably, like, the second month in. Would you say it took him a little bit longer to uh, come to the same conclusion? Um, I would say it was pretty mutual, but just again with the timing, it, I don't know, honestly. That's okay. <laughs> it just ended up working out, so, and I'm very happy, so. Sweet. <laughs> um, oh, sorry, one thing. Can I have you scoot your microphone closer to, uh, okay. yeah, scoot it this way a little bit? Perfect. Go ahead. I'm still very taken, um, and my longest relationship has been 10 months. Is that your current one? No. Okay. Still very taken. Are you still very much going to marry your current boyfriend? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, cool. Does he feel the same way? Mm-hmm. Nice. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I am in a relationship. He's watching this. <laughs> okay. I love you. Um, and the longest relationship I was in was 